Hello, you are welcome to Lookup How To. In today's video, we will be demonstrating how to populate multiple fields in ArcGIS Pro using batch calculation attribute rule. In the previous videos, we demonstrated how to use the calculation rule, which is the immediate and the batch calculation rules, to auto populate single fields. In this video, we want to go deeper to demonstrate how to use the batch calculation rule to populate multiple fields in ArcGIS Pro. So our case study, we have over 9,000 points of interest spread across Nigeria, but without uh, local government and states attributes. We want to be able to generate the local governments and states of each of these points of interest where they are polling based on the relationship between the points and the point of interest and the local government polygon. So what are the data requirements? Um, certainly, we will require the point of interest data, but without the state and local government attributes. And then we'll also require the polygon feature, which is the LGA, local government boundary map of Nigeria. And um, this, we will use an intersection from the boat in order to derive the attributes of each of these um, point of interest. So we'll be setting the attribute rules. The preliminary settings will start at the Judita base level where we will uh, generate global ID and then we will enable editor tracking and then we will create the new fields but empty. We'll create fields to store the local government attribute as well as the state uh, field. And then we will go into the configuration. The first part of it is pretty much basic configuration where we'll be required to provide the name of the rule as and other basic um, provisions. And then where the main thing is done, the engine room that powers the attribute rule is an arcade expression where the logic will be built in order to generate the attribute rule. So let's go straight to the practical. Our mission is to populate this uh, point of interest uh, attribute table to include states and local governments using this uh, local government um, table. In this local government table we have the state name and the LGA name whereas um, we do not have uh, state and LGA and so we want to demonstrate how to populate multiple fields in an attribute table of a feature class. So this is the Judith database that contains the uh, features. So let me just um, delete this because we don't need that. So yeah, these are our feature classes. So first of all, we have to go to the properties and then um, create a global IDs and also enable editor tracker, which is um, a prerequisite for conducting an uh, attribute rule. Yeah, we've seen the uh, attribute tables of the two features and we also understand our mission. So we'll go straight to create the attribute rule or we'll right click on the uh, point feature because we want to create the fields, the additional fields on this. First of all, we Let's not forget we are supposed to create uh, empty fields for the um, fields we want to populate. So we'll just go straight to add. I want to create LGA name. LGA name. And it's a, it's a text. So we'll go straight to design the attribute rule. So from data design, click attribute rule. And then we are aware of the three types of attribute rule. Uh, this time, because we want to uh, create, want to populate new fields, we will use the calculate. So under calculation, um, 
we because we already have an existing legacy data we will use the batch calculation because we are just um, updating the data with the additional fields we, we wish to update so click the batch calculation and then we'll impute the relevant details the first one is to impute the rule name so we are saying uh, populate uh, okay no multiple fields and i'll copy and paste the same and then um, the subtypes no need even the fields because we are populating more than one field we don't need to choose any one rather we'll um, uh, configure it within the arcade expression um, and then here at the tag we we'll just say multiple fields and then the next thing is to go to the arcade expression and begin to configure it so the first step we will bring in uh, we we'll load the features um, so how to load the features we will use the feature set by name function and we will be using the data store and what is the feature class we want to uh, load in we want the LGA and what are the specific um, fields we are interested in we are interested in the state state name and the LGA and the LGA so sorry yeah we have to respect the text uh, yeah so let's check yeah it's valid so what this does is to bring in this will load the local government uh, um, feature and um we want it to what we want to do is we are using a relationship between the two feature classes and then whatever thing that is intersected we want to use that to pull out the names the local government name and the local and the state name from the polygon so we'll use the intersect function intersect function so we are intersecting with the uh, active feature um, active status i mean so let's check and oh oh sorry so that works and we are referring to the um, actual result of the intersection which is one of them so we we'll, we'll use first to refer to the actual one and that also works so now let us um, save it as a variable LGA poly yeah so we've saved it there um, the next thing is to check whether um, there is any feature that is not intersecting that is not within the intersected um, polygons within the local governments so it means if there is any feature that is outside of the Nigerian boundary um, if we do not take this action it will um, result to an error it will flag an error and so we want to use a logic to check that so we use a function to check that which is um is, is empty function so we want to check if this is empty sorry okay so so we we'll use an if function if it is empty then what should we do 
if it is if it is empty let it return a null else it should return a dictionary object which is result and in that dictionary object oh sorry it should be inside of um, quotation mark in that dictionary object the attributes and in that attributes object we, will, we are now going to go to the specific attributes and one of one of it is what is the state name so we use state name we call it state name and the state name should be this dot dot state name no let's check whether yeah it's valid and the other one okay lga name so the lga name is also a dot lga so let's see it's asking for call it yeah so there should be a comma here yeah so this works now we will go ahead and save our attribute rule to our two processing tools and then run the evaluation rule in running the evaluation rule will so let's refresh i think yeah so we reference the view database it's a calculation rule and then we we'll run it yeah it's completed so when it's completed we will go to our error inspector um, nothing is there because we've not loaded our error layers so um we are supposed to load the error layer from this what is grayed out so we'll have to restart the system the uh, application to be able to find it yeah so let's um check whether we'll be able to find the error layer yeah so it's now uh, active so i can now load it after loading the error layer we will now be able to go to edit and um, apply the error inspector from here we can see that um, it will save us with this and then because we are doing a uh, batch calculation and not validation so we'll uncheck the validation and then we need it to apply over the entire data set so we choose the full extent and then when you click on evaluate rule the next thing we're going to see let's check our so you can see we have our local government is as simple as this we have our lga as well as the states there are, there are a few of them that are falling outside of nigerian boundary and then let us see what the effect of the is empty uh, yeah so these all these do not have coordinates yeah so you can see all these is either is falling outside of nigerian boundary or or this is so if you can see this one does not have a longitude but it has latitude so um, um, let me look at let me show you the codes that help to overcome that uh, bug that error so if i had not uh, applied this if it's empty it would have been flagging an error and will not be able to continue so take notes whenever you are writing yours so this is the codes let me display it for you to see and copy and you can use your phone to snap and then apply it it's as simple as this so um, unlike the uh, one that is a single field that you choose this one you have to uh, create a dictionary object using the result and in the result you next the attributes and then you can list as many um, 
attributes that you want to in, in, uh, add to your existing attributes. So I think we are done here. And thank you for watching. We also advise you refer to our previous uh, videos on attribute rules where we demonstrate how to apply the validation rule as well as the calculation rule through the batch calculation and the immediate calculation. Thank you very much.